So what's going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 11th tutorial for Angular. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn about what ng module is in Angular 4. Right? So we have seen some tutorials where we are making use of Angular app, but we do not really know till now what ng module is. So ng module was uh, actually added to Angular 2 later on. It was not when it was not with the release version of Angular 2, the first version when came, when it came out. So ng module was added later on to Angular 2, but it's quite useful actually. And what it does is pretty much organizes our dependencies and imports whatever we need for a specific module. Now, first things first, let's just see what module is in Angular. So Angular introduces module concept as uh, something like uh, a box which contains a lot of components, right? So your web page can contain <coughs> like uh, a header component, then sidebar component, content area component, then maybe a shopping cart component, all that stuff. And then you could pretty much organize all of these components into one module which could be user module, right? Which, or rather view module or whatever you want to say that. So that module would be created with this ng module, right? And what, what this ng module contains, or rather this ng module decorator is that it is a metadata object which contains some useful information about what this module would do and what this module requires like the imports and the services and dependencies it needs so for example if you are making use of something like uh, you're doing um, login and you want to make use of uh, http requests so you're going to make use of http or rather it is a module so it would go inside imports so it would be http module right so with this you would have access to http module in angular and let's say you want to make some routing stuff so you would import a route router module and this would give you access to the router module inside your components of this module right so again module would contain uh, one or more components and components could then make use of all these important modules which we have in here Okay, so that's good, but what about these declarations, import, provider, what, and bootstrap, what's these? Well, to start off with, this declarations would is an array of components which would be included in this module, right? So right now we are just making use of one component, which is app component, which is the default component in uh, uh, default installation or default setup with the uh, Angular CLI. So you can see that this is pretty much a simple component which uh, has some of our data right now. And again, this component just targets app root and uh, with a template URL of, of app component.html and it just simply displays this hello world. So nothing fancy here. So this declarations would contain a list of or an array of all the components which you want to use. So it would typically look like uh, um, hello component and then let's just say sidebar component or if you are creating something like um, I don't know a quiz app so you can say like a question component and option component anything like that maybe like share links component something like that so that's pretty much what would go here the next thing is that imports. Well, now imports, what this does is that it would allow you to import other modules into the app. So, so the app can pretty much make use of other modules like uh, making use of this browser module to access what we have as ng if and ng for. So those are the directives which are not really we have not really imported it anywhere in our component as well, but still we were able to make use of um, li star ng if or ng for. 
Now the reason is that because again this is simply a directive right it's not different from a directive so we were able to access this directive because we imported this browser module from uh, angular platform browser and this browser module contained the code or the definition for the directives of ng if and ng for so pretty much this makes this this makes it a lot modular to import other sort of modules and uh, finally what goes in providers is pretty much like your service like if you are creating a login application with angular and uh, you want to create a persistent sort of session so that the user can go from one page to another and doesn't lose its uh, uh, login state so what we can do is pretty much create a user service and uh, fill it into provider inside our module so let's just say if our if your module is dash if your module is dashboard right and uh, that module contains components of uh, different different pages so you want to just hook in providers with user uh, service and uh, then this user service would contain all the methods and variables for the user data like uh, username or uh, whatever you know user profile url and user image url and all that stuff if the user is logged in how long the user has been logged in and all that stuff and finally we have this bootstrap which pretty much just bootstraps your app with the specified component now it's um, very rare to bootstrap your app with uh, more than one component i guess i haven't seen it anywhere but uh, yeah pretty much you can do that because it accepts an array so it probably would work as well but in most of the cases or you i don't know if you would ever need that but uh, you will just need to bootstrap only one component in a module right so to sum up what goes in declaration is your components and directives and all that stuff if you remember from that blue directive tutorial we uh, created um, I don't know a couple of tutorials back we saw that angular CLI automatically placed that directive dependency inside this declarations so declaration contains components and directives the import contains other modules which pretty much gives you access to the components and directives of that particular module right so declaration goes like uh, you import your own modules into own components and directives into your module and import actually imports the full other module right now there's no kind of relation between this imports and this import right this these two are different things so don't confuse them as one and the same thing so and finally providers contains services which we'll take a look at later on and uh, bootstrapping bootstrap would contain the component you want to bootstrap with you want to start your application with right so that is how pretty much how this ng module decorator is laid out and uh, that's how it works so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one